Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I want to create a new Tinkercad jet. So let's get cracking. So friends, today I want to make an F-22 Raptor. All I did was find an image, and now let's see if we can build one that's similar. Of course, in Tinkercad, the first step is to hit Create New Design. I'm going to go up here to the top, and I'm going to name it F-22. And then I'm going to put my initials just in case I ever want to turn one of these in. Now for this project, the first thing I want to do is bring in the wings. I'm going to visit Shape Generators. I'm going to choose All. And then I'm going to hit More again and again and again until I get to the Swept NASA. Friends, if you haven't seen, there are a ton of shapes. You can hit more and more and more to get to them. I have got a video, I'll put a link up above, that actually has all of these shapes kind of like a catalog in a Google Jamboard. Now the one I wanted to get to was the Swept NASA. You can see I have clicked the little favorite button so that way I can get to this easier. But I wanted to show you how to get to it so you can bring it in and use it in your project as well. Notice I grabbed that and it took a moment for it to be able to be set down. Please remember to be patient as all these epic shapes load. Let's take a quick peek at our F-22. Notice it has two of these fins in the back and they are wide and then they go to the tip. So let's take a look at this shape. Ours has a little different angle in the back. So what we're going to do is control D and we're going to set this to the side and then we're going to change it. If we go to the sweep angle and instead make it 10, check this out. All of a sudden it looks more like our Raptor airfoil. Now the only way to find this is by clicking on these and changing them. I found that one that was sweet and now I'm going to use the rotate to turn it so that it matches the front. I'm going to move it over here to the middle and we need two of these. So I'm going to do control D and nudge it across. I want these turned at an angle. See how they sweep out. I'm going to tell you to use the angle 22 and a half. Notice if you move inside the circle, it is one click to get that 22 and a half degree angle. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. All right, friends, this is really cool. I want to spread them apart 10 millimeters. I'm set on a one millimeter nudge. So I'm going to hold down shift tap the arrow once and it goes 10 times the one or 10 and boom I've got those two fins instantly the way I want. I'm gonna make them a sweet gray. Now if we eyeball our Raptor I'm gonna go back here again they need to be about four of those centimeters apart so once again I'm gonna do shift nudge there's 10 think that's gonna be the right amount so it was two shift tens. And then I'm gonna group them so that later I can align those exactly where I want. Let's real quickly create our wings. Once again, if we return, now we're gonna take this and rotate it 90 degrees. Notice I'm inside the circle, so it's easy to rotate it. And then I'm gonna rotate it in here, once again, inside the circle, so that it shows up like that. Let's hit D to drop it to ground level. And then I'm just going to change the numbers for mine because I kind of like this shape. So I'm going to change this to 60. And I'm going to change this to 40. Let's take a quick peek and see if that looks good. I think it might be a little bit long. So instead of 60, I'm going to make it 50 and press enter. Alrighty, friends. So now we're going to take that one and do control D to duplicate it. We're going to use the sweet mirror tool to flip it. I want to put the new one over on this side. So friends, what I'm going to do is hit work plane, click on that one and hit the letter D to drop it to the other side. Select those two and group them. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground while I wait for it to group. There it is. And now let's pick that cool gray that we're using for the rest of the airplane as well. Friends, this is also going to be our tail fin. Do control D and move it back but we're gonna change the measurements. Make sure that says 30 and make sure this one says 60. Let's take those three items and click a line, pick the center and boom, this is starting to look more like a jet. All right, friends, so let's cut this up so that it fits the F-22. Uh, what we're gonna do is bring out the basic shape whole cube. I want you to rotate it 45 degrees. So two clicks when you're inside the circle. I want you to take a second one, do control D, switch to the five millimeter nudge, and I want you to go one, two, three clicks over. I want you to hide this part right here, 
and bring in another cube. This one we're not going to rotate. We want all three of these to be aligned with the top edge. So I'm going to pick one of the rotated ones and I'm just going to align it like that. Now I'm going to zoom in with the fit view. And what I want to do is I want to make it match these corners. I'm going to shut off my 5 millimeter nudge by making it a 1 millimeter nudge. When I click on this, I can find the black handle. And we're just going to snap it to that very spot. This one was already perfect, but the same idea is we're just snapping them to that spot right there. Take those three shapes and group them. And they're going to create the complex piece that gets cut out right back here. If we do show all, we can bring back our tail fin. I'm going to tell you to align it. Let's do center this way and center this way. And then let's use our nudge so that we all do this the same. I'm going to go back the five millimeter nudge, making sure that I only have the one piece. I'm going to go back one, two, three spots. When we select those all and group them, you will see we've got the start of our cutout. The only thing we need to do is we need to make this slanted cut right here. Friends, we're going to do that same thing with the cube. This time when we bring it out, though, we're going to rotate it the 22 and a half degrees. Let's make a duplicate of it. Control D. I'm going to bring it to the other side, and I'm going to mirror it this way. When we drag these into place, I'm going to set it back to a one millimeter nudge. And we just want to get it so that it's cutting on that corner right there. So it starts at that spot and it starts at that spot. When you've got those like that, draw a rectangle that touches all three shapes, hit group. And my friends, that's pretty darn close to the F-22 Raptor. You can get more perfect, but I just want to get you a start so you can start making your own custom jets. Alrighty, friends, so now it's time to start making the fuselage. Uh, if you look at this from the front, that is a cool hollowed out shape. Let's see if we can find something that works pretty similar. To do this, I'm going to switch from basic shapes to the shape generators. And then I want to go down and click all, and I want to find a trapezoid. So we're going to have to hit more a bunch of times. Don't forget, if you haven't seen this, I do have a video that has a jam board that has all of these shapes on it so you've got a better clue of what you can use. And also, you've got a quick reference, kind of like a catalog, of all the parts that are available. There's my trapezoid. I'm going to bring that little fella out. We're going to use two of those, and we're going to flip it over so that the top is down, and I'm going to also make them holes. So first, here's my flip. And then I am going to hold down shift and squish it. That looks about the right size for what I want to do. I'm going to stretch it back. And then I'm going to switch this to a five degree angle just because I think that's what it looked like in the video. If you want, you can just type negative five and press enter so that way it lines up super fast. I'm going to make its duplicate, control D. And this is going to use the cool alt shift. And I'm going to make it larger. Notice it says 14, that's a good number. And I'm gonna make it a solid, and of course I'm gonna make it gray. I'm gonna change the grays up a little bit. I wanna slide this back along this face. This is important when you wanna move something in the same direction it was. Change the work plane so it matches it. Now I can push this back, and I can take this one, and I can stretch it. If you make a mistake, do Control Z. I wanted this handle up here, and I missed and I can stretch it longer. So now I can take our gray one and I can pull it forward, making sure that it cuts all the way out, which it still doesn't. And there I've got my hollow shape I wanna use for both sides. I'm gonna grab those two pieces, simple as that. Let's hit group and boom, there is that hollow area. Now I want the skin to be a little thinner, I think. So this is cool, you can double click and I'm gonna go to the inside one so friends, I'm gonna stretch this just a little, and to do that, I'm gonna switch my grid to 0.25. I'm gonna hold down Alt and Shift, and I just wanna bring it out a little closer. So right there, I'm at 11.34. I like that. If we slide back to our image, you can see that we just created this hole right here. We need two of these, so let's go back to our Raptor, and we're gonna do Control D. 
All right, friends, so it was moving slow because I was on 0.25. I'm gonna quickly flip this so it goes the other way, and let's do a shift nudge to nudge it across. So now I've got those two parts. I'm gonna take and draw a box that touches the both. Notice it says two shapes, and let's group them so they are now one piece. If I grab everything, click a line, click the wing, boom. They are now centered where they are supposed to be, and now let's see what we can build next. While we're out here, friends, let's scroll up and I want to use this, the OGIV, for the front of my aircraft. So let's put that up there. It's a pretty handy shape too. So let's make it a favorite. Let's go back to our basic shapes right now. And let's get the body of our plane, which is just going to be a cylinder. When you bring out the cylinder, we do want all of the sides. So let's max it out to 64. And then find a corner view. Find this handle right here. Touch the arrow piece and rotate it 90. Remember, if you stay inside the circle, that's the easiest way to get the 90. Stretch it out with the black handle. I'm gonna say a good number I think is gonna be 60. And then we wanna take this and rotate it as well. Once again, doing the 90 degrees by staying inside the circle. And then we wanna attach that. The way to do it is to put the work plane on the end of our tube. Do D to drop. And then we can grab those two pieces. I'm going to use shift select. So I'm holding shift and clicking on the second piece. Let's choose a line, make it a master. And we want center and we want center. Notice adjusting your view makes that a lot easier. I'm going to take those two pieces and I'm going to group them and let's move them into our aircraft again. So now it is starting to look like an airplane, although we do have the scales a little bit off. We are real quickly gonna add the canopy. Friends, we're gonna do that with a half sphere. I'm gonna stretch it out to 30. I'm gonna change it to 18 for how wide it is. And then I'm going to use a line. So once again, we're gonna do shift click, align, and I wanna align it with this piece. So there's my center. I also wanna move it to the top and then I'm just gonna click on it and do control up to get it to the right height and then use the arrows to nudge it back where I want. 18 is too thick, so I'm gonna change it to 16 and then hold down shift, click on it, do a line and make sure that it's centered on the fuselage of our aircraft. That looks pretty wicked. I'm gonna take those two pieces, double check that it says two, group them and then I am gonna turn on multicolor because I think that adds a lot to the design of the aircraft. If we look back at the aircraft, we do need to angle these just a little bit. All right, friends, let's angle those really quick. Let's hide this. Let's hide the wing. Let's bring out the whole cube. We're gonna switch the rotation on this little dude to 22 and a half. And then we just need to bring it across so that it cuts that shape. Let's make sure it's gonna fit. If it's not, I'm gonna do Control Z and Control Z, and I'm gonna make this wider. So let's put 30. Now I'm gonna do my 22 and a half, which is one click. And then it's easy to drop that in so that it just touches that corner. I'm gonna do Control D. I'm gonna mirror it, and I'm gonna put it on the other side. And if I just nudge it across with the arrow keys, you can find that exact spot where it touches that corner and is good for cutting off. So just using left and right, you can see you can find the exact spots you want. Let's zoom in. That's groovy, and that's groovy. We will select those, and let's group them. Now we've got that sweet cut angle, but I did not cut low enough. If we double click, and then I'm going to take these and sink them down, then we'll be able to cut correctly. That, my friends, is more what I was aiming for. I'm also going to click on this and hit D to drop so that it's all the way at the top. Now let's bring it back, and that's looking pretty darn sweet. Let's use Alt-Shift and scale some of these really quick. So Alt-Shift goes around the middle, which is really nice. So I think that fits my wing size pretty good. I'm going to pull this one forward. And if we look back at the F-22... This happens just behind the canopy, so that's pretty sweet. I'm going to make it a little smaller as well by holding Alt, Shift, and Shrinking. If you want to make sure you're using smaller grids, just change this down. 
and you can find the number that you think is right. Now I can pull that forward. I think that is right where I want it. I'm going to take my wing. Let's check out where it's supposed to be. It starts quite a bit back into this, so now we can just slide that back. And I'm going to realign these in a minute. And I think if we look at this, it actually goes into those wings. So I'm going to take this wing, and I'm actually going to make it larger so it comes back into those. And then let's nudge all of this forward. That, my friends, is starting to look a bit like an F-22 Raptor. We do need to raise the wings up. Let's click on this and do control up arrow. And I'm going to raise these up as well. Hold down shift and lift them up. Control up. And nudge them into place. Let's click on all of this, click a line, pick the center, and the center. And friends, that is pretty darn epic. Let's make it gray. I'm gonna go with this gray now. And then I'm gonna double click on the canopy. And I think I'm gonna make it a dark gray. And then make sure I turn on multicolor so that we can see it gonna have to make these back so I'm gonna double click and make these the other gray so instead of green let's go gray that's pretty fun all right friends so I am gonna choose to ungroup this and ungroup this the reason I'm doing this is because this allows us to do transparent which makes this next piece just a little cooler so I want to bring out a whole sphere and I want to check the measurements here. See how it's 12 and 23-ish? So we're going to change this to 12 and 23. We don't mind the decimals, and we don't mind uh, that it's shorter a little bit. I'm going to change the height of this to 10 really quick. And then we're going to do Shift-Click to grab the two of them and choose a line. You want to make sure the canopy's the master, and we want to do center, center, and top. All right, friends, so with that aligned, now we want to select just the hole, and we want to do control down arrow till it's almost all the way at the top edge. And now, friends, let's hide the bubble. Make sure that this is popping out. So I'm going to do control up because I can see I was missing in the back. And then I'm going to hold down shift and click the nose of the aircraft. Note that it says two shapes, and boom, we can group it, and you have just cut out an area for your pilot to sit. How cool is that? All right, friends, now that I've got that cockpit area, I want to add a seat. Friends, the cool thing I've done is I've created a code block seat that because I created that and added it to my creations, now we can click on it and bring it in. If you have not made the code block seat, you will be able to check the cards and build it. It is pretty fun and it's fast and then you can use it on all your projects. Once again, I'm going to do shift select align and I want to put it to the middle. And then I'm also going to put it to the top. All right, friends, and then get it in an angle where you can see the work plane and you can drop that seat right where you want. I'm going to use fit view to zoom in and then I'm going to nudge that with the arrow keys, do control D and I'm going to make this a two seater. And then if we zoom back out and do show all, friends, that is pretty epic. I'm going to take the bubble and stretch it back so I'm sure it covers. Alrighty, friends, if I'm looking at their Raptor, I want to make these a little more round. You can see these ridges coming through here. Check this out. If we ungroup this piece right here, we can set the work plane on top. And if we bring out the half sphere, we can make it low and stretch it back, making sure that it fits inside the shape because we don't want it hanging off silly. Remember we had that five degree nudge, so we'll do that so that it matches. And then if I nudge this in just like that, 
it'll actually give us some of that round shape. I'm going to stretch it forward a little more, and I'm going to stretch it out to the edge-ish. And then I'm going to do Control D and nudge the other one to the other side. And then don't forget we're going to mirror it. I'll nudge it till it's the exact same spot. And now that we've got that part built, let's hide the stuff we don't need. So there's a couple of hides. Hide. Hide the front. And let's hide the cockpit area. Notice a skinny rectangle right up the middle gets all of those. And now, friends, let's group that part and make it a little more custom and see how that turns out. This was just poking up a little bit too high. We can fix that by double clicking and then clicking on this hole and just doing control up. So that way it cuts through. That's pretty darn nifty. And now when we put the work plane on the ground, that is pretty sweet. I do want it to be the lighter gray, though. That's what I was shooting for. Pretty darn fun. Really quickly, friends, I'm going to stretch this a little further forward because I think it looks neat. And friends, I'm going to call it quits because I'm out of time for today. I'll come back and play with this more. Hopefully you will come back and play with it more as well. We have gotten pretty darn close to the F-22, really just using basic shapes and basic skills. Friends, remember, if you make one that's more awesome and want to share it with me, all you have to do is hit collaborate generate a link, copy the link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. You are also welcome to visit hlmodtech.com. It has all kinds of Tinkercad lessons on the Tinkercad tab. It also has the messaging surface. You can click on that, fill it out, and reach out to me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I hope you had an amazing time learning how to make this sweet F-22 Raptor. Friends, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.